Hello everyone, I'm Professor Sally Eves. It's a real pleasure here to be having this panel all around the Tech for All initiative, finding out why Huawei is invested in this, what the big purpose and goals are, and about the key partnerships that are helping to make this happen. I'd like to introduce the panel here today. Firstly, we've got Kevin Zhang, who's a Chief Marketing Officer of ICT Infrastructure. And secondly here, we've got Toffler White, who is the founder and CEO of the Rainforest Connection. So firstly, we're going to dive right in to find out all about what Tech for All is all about, what is driving that. So for you, Kevin, what are the key goals of this initiative? OK, uh, thank you, Sally. As you know, two years ago, we released the new vision and mission, bring digital to every person, home and organization for a fully connected, intelligent world. Absolutely. We want to uh, help the people be fair to access and use ICT technology. Maybe in other words, it's called uh, digital uh, inclusion. We launched this initiative, Tech for All. So Tech for All is driven by our vision and mission. So we have already uh, identified the three priorities, identified four target domains. We also know that we need to work together with the different uh, organizations uh, partners and together. Absolutely. I'm glad to invite both of you to come here Thank to you. share what we have done. Yeah, so uh, Rainforest Connection is, uh, is the organization I'm with, um, a nonprofit tech startup from San Francisco. We are very much of the same mission that she spoke about. Uh, we want to protect the natural spaces of the world. That matters a great deal because not only do we want to protect the rainforest for the animals and the, the people that are there, um, but also deforestation is the second largest contributor to climate change uh, out of everything out there um, around the world. And so if we can save the forest, we can actually take a big bite out of climate change. There are people on the ground who would do it. Um, and so what we're known for in our collaboration with you uh, is to take old smartphones, old Huawei smartphones, the old ones that, uh, <laughs> yeah, you should definitely always upgrade your phone because the old ones are very useful. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we, take, um, we take these old phones, put them up in trees, they listen to all the sounds of the forest, and they stream that up to the cloud where we use um, AI models built yeah. by Huawei yeah. uh, to detect chainsaws from the, uh, the sounds of the forest, very noisy place, uh, and then send alerts to local people like indigenous tribes on the ground so they can show up and stop uh, the logging um, okay. as it occurs or before it happens. But again, Huawei has been a really important part of us making this possible, um, and again, that's how we spread throughout the world. Um, in terms of the Tech4 initiative more widely, um, could you explore some more examples about how you're using AI in other areas as well, um, going back to the four pillars that you spoke about before? Okay, so uh, as uh, Tofa mentioned, AI can help us do more and yes. also bring the uh, benefit and also can help the people. We work with a, a partner in Spain to, uh, for a project named yes. the, the Track AI. Uh, you know, traditionally, we needed the experienced doctor mm -hmm. to detect the uh, children's eye. Based on the cooperation uh, with the doctor from the Spain, develop a device, yeah. use Huawei MateBook, just to trace the eyeball. That sounds okay. so engaging as well. Yeah, so this means that, yeah. the doctor have a digital assistant, or maybe for the parents, mm -hmm. they have a digital doctor. Looking at the, your thoughts about what you've shared so far, for me it's all about partnership and I think everything around Tech for All, it's a call for action to get involved in that. It makes, gives me goosebumps just talking about it. It's everything that I believe in, so it's a real pleasure to be part of. Okay, cool. And kind of on that note, where do you want to go next? Like three years' time, where do you see Tech uh, for All you know, going uh, to? Within the next five years, we want to bring the benefit yes. to another 500 million yeah. people. So how to make it happen? Firstly, we need a dedicated team, and also we have established a parliament. Uh, internally, we named a Tech4 Digital Inclusion uh, Office. We need to work with the partners. In the next step, we want to work with, uh, collaborate with the uh, NGOs, NPOs, globally and locally. The last one I want to say, okay, maybe uh, we need to do pilot case. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, amazing projects, you're really doing uh, use cases that are very tangible and sharing those with people gets people excited, curious, want to get involved and actually showing how progress is being made. So I think that really rounds up our discussion. So tech for all, is, as, you know, for me, tech for good as well. It's all part of the same journey and I think the, the trajectory here is super exciting. So please join us and get involved. Thank you. Tech, tech for all. all.